Are you seriously still upset? You should let it go. Can I go home now? Uh-huh. Are you still seriously planning on coming home? Why would you just come home? What the hell is that about? <laughs> of course we're going to be heading home. Getting mad over such a small thing. It was literally a joke. How sensitive are you? Seriously? Really, you think so? You understand that if you say something that hurts my feelings, I'm probably going to be upset, right? It was literally just a joke. Your jokes are literally hurting people's feelings. I said sorry. Don't be so upset and angry over that. I can go home now, Roy. I need you to understand what you've done. Until you really figure out what you've done wrong, you don't have to come home. Oh my god, you're so annoying sometimes. What is your problem? I just told the truth. Some old hag like you wearing a wedding dress at your age? That alone is a joke to me. Even so, literally in front of all of my relatives and this old hag who has two kids wants to wear a wedding dress? Then you yelled in front of all of them that I must be crazy and that you want me to be serious for a second. Who is the one that was laughing his head off? You're seriously going way too far. You actually remember every single line, huh? You're way too sensitive. I don't even remember what I said. I was also pretty drunk, so I actually don't remember most of it. But who cares? I already apologized to you. I really don't feel any sincerity from your apologies at all. Think about it, though. I just said a little joke about you, and your dad completely loses his shit. And then I was taken straight to me parents' house. Who would have thunk, huh? We were all celebrating for New Year's, and his own daughter was made fun of right in front of him. I think that's a pretty normal reaction from him. Literally everyone was taken aback by your joke. You really think that you can even fit in a wedding dress right now? You told me when we got married that we didn't have much money right now, but once we were able to save up some money, we would at least take some photos as a memory. I might have said that, yeah? But we don't even have money? Case in point. <laughs> it's been seven long years since we got married. I think they were actually more poor than we were when we started. I mean, what can you do? I was let go from the company, so it's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault, so it's not my problem. You're not going to be able to cash in on the unemployment soon. It doesn't look like you're looking for a new job at all. Once I'm not able to get unemployment anymore, I'll start looking. Right now, I'm just in the uh, summer vacation of me life. <laughs> That's not funny at all. You don't have to come home anymore. I'm taking care of the kids, though. Taking care of the kids? Yeah, right. My mom is the one doing most of the child sitting. You're not doing much of anything at all, are you? We're living together, so there's a lot of stress. you got to at least let me blow off some steam how I want. I'm already tired of trying to think about how things will be with you. Okay, then why don't you just stay at your house, then? I personally think I'd be perfectly fine without you ever coming home at all. What the hell do you mean? I considered the fact that your family doesn't have any men in their family to marry into your family instead of keeping my name. That's how I'm planning on carrying on your family name. You can at least say things a little nicer. You need to treat me with respect. You know, I was actually thinking about that recently. I don't think I ever asked you to do that for me, did I? Huh? Also, my sisters, every time they come home, they're met with your sexually inappropriate jokes. And you getting drunk and trying to touch them. They're all pretty sick of your shenanigans. I didn't say anything like that. What are they saying I did? Well, you made some dirty jokes about Joyce's boyfriend. You also made comments about Grace's body. Pretty sure you've done more than enough damage to them. I had no intention of doing that. I'm just making funny jokes is all. Everyone was literally laughing. They were laughing out of awkwardness. How could you not understand that? You're seriously socially awkward. Are you sure you should be talking to me like that? I'm seriously going to leave. Okay. Huh? Yeah, I would like you to do that. What did you say? I was actually going to formally ask you to do that. I'm sorry this is over text, but please don't come back to our house. Ever. I'll send all of your stuff in the mail. What? You can't do that to me! What? Why not? I'm pretty sure I can. If I'm not around, who's going to carry on the family name? You're going to regret this? You realize that our household isn't like some kind of royalty? <laughs> We're not from some elite bloodline or anything. We don't need some kind of heir. My parents and I are both federal employees. If push come to shove, my kids and I both have my name. 
they can just carry it on. If we're talking about heirs, we have two healthy young boys. That should be more than enough, right? You were that serious about all this? I was just joking around. I told you earlier, but I'll tell you again. Your jokes seriously hurt people. Not to mention, there's not any humor in it at all. Don't be like that. I don't have any intention of getting a divorce from you. I'm on a vacation right now, so I'm able to stay at my parents' house, but I won't be able to stay forever. Yeah, your brothers live there too. Interesting fact. You didn't tell your parents that you quit your job, did you? Of course I didn't tell them. Also, going home because I got a divorce, I could never do that. It's almost been a week, but I'm literally at the point of no return. It's annoying pretending to go to work every day. I should be able to go home if I want, right? You don't have a place in this house anymore. Can I just send the divorce papers to your house? Or should I send them somewhere else? I don't know if you're planning on moving or what. What? You can't be serious about the divorce. I can't even handle just living apart. Why would I get a divorce? I've already decided this. Also, do you remember when you got drunk and hit my kids and I? I'm going to talk to a lawyer and see if I'm able to sue you for domestic violence. Domestic violence? That's only a few times that it's happened. I haven't done anything after we started living together. That's because you're afraid of my dad who's a black belt in judo. Whatever. The point is, I've had enough of this. I'll be sure to get child support for the two kids. Wait, hang on. This is all moving too quickly. My head isn't keeping up with all this. I need you to calm down and hear me out. We're getting a divorce, so get the hell out of my house. No, I don't understand. I was just joking around and you're going to divorce me. That's way too mean. And now you're talking about suing me too. You're blowing this all out of proportion. Your verbal violence is also apparently considered domestic violence nowadays. Seems like it's difficult for you to bring it up on your own, so I contacted your mum a second ago. Huh? What are you talking about? What? You don't get it? I told her I'm divorcing you and that you were fired from your job. I let her know about everything. You couldn't tell her yourself, right? I told her for you. You should be thanking me. Are you being serious right now? Do you understand the status I have? I'm 35 years old and I have no job. My older brother who's a year older than me already works at a company as an executive and I have no status at home. How do you call yourself, me wife? You should think about me before doing things. That's why you're able to say things like trying on a wedding dress when you look like that. It's all really bad jokes and in bad taste. I see. That's okay. You don't ever have to look at me again. Literally, never. Look at you already getting angry again? I'm just joking. You're just joking about me mom too, right? You didn't actually tell her. I'm not joking at all. I already have the divorce papers ready. I'm going to have my dad take them to you soon. Yeah, hang on a sec. Did me mom say anything? She was apologizing to me. She said that she was sorry for my son who was unreliable and that she would be forcing you to pay damages immediately. She also said she'd make you look for a job ASAP so that you'd be able to pay for child support fees. Are you seriously making me mum talk about child support? I feel so bad for her. You're the one that's making her talk about all that. <laughs> I actually feel bad for her too. She's got to talk to me on behalf of her 35-year-old son. It's not too late. Please take back everything you've said to me, Mum. I'll find another job right away, I promise. I can't be getting a divorce right now. I don't want her to look down on me. I don't want to keep living in the same house as me, brother. I don't have any money saved up, so it's not like I can just move away. Okay, so why don't you just act so that she doesn't look down on you? It's kind of your fault, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to be sending you a bunch of your stuff, and my parents are going to be taking the divorce papers to you. I'm like 99% sure I'm going to have custody of the kids, but let's talk about all that with our lawyers, huh? Please, I want to go home to that house. I promise I won't drink anymore. I'm tired of hearing you say that. Well, I'll try my best to stop saying jokes from now on, and if you're really intent on getting a wedding dress, we can get you one. Yeah, better luck next time. I don't want to take wedding photos with the likes of you anyway, so no thanks. <laughs> Have fun living with your brother and family.
When Randall, who was pretending to be at work, got home, his mum, who was furious, was waiting for him. The fact that he had lied and didn't try to find a job. The fact that he was spending hours in the slot machines and wasting time. It was all brought to light, and he was scolded like never before. The divorce papers were taken by Barbara's father that same day. He drove all the way to their house. Randall's parents were apologizing profusely, saying that their son was in the wrong. Randall ended up borrowing money from his brother and paid for the damages. He couldn't leave the house and is currently looking for a job. Hopefully he's able to find a job before his first child support payment starts coming in.